Hi, my name is Arpita and I'm a junior from India. I'm double majoring in philosophy and in ICS with a focus on South Asia. Uh, the reason why I chose ICS as my major was because of its transdisciplinary nature um, and um, it's how I satisfied the many ambitions and requirements that I came with uh, when I came to Duke. And that included uh, my interest in political science and human rights and even Indians. And I was able to pursue all of these and much more academically through ICS. Arpita, how did the ICS Gateway influence your academic and personal interests? Uh, the ICS Gateway, um, contrary to my expectations um, prior to taking the class, went much beyond exploring international relations. And we, saw, we touched upon and we actually explored in detail um, concepts about transnationalism and um, the what, uh, what ideas of boundaries and borders and your um, identity, be your national identity and so on and so forth in depth. And um, these, um, these actually encouraged me to apply for a program with the Women's Center over fall break um, to work with an NGO called Hope Community in Florida where we looked at women and immigration. And following that, this previous summer, um, the interest that I had developed through this ICS Gateway class, again, um, inspired me to apply for a program um, in, with Duke Engage um, in Northern Ireland in Belfast. And this was led by Professor Robin Kirk. And from her and from the many people I interacted with and the organization that I worked with, I learned that um, although the troubles, that's a conflict um, that happened in uh, Northern Ireland, is often referred to as the conflict between Protestants and Catholics. It's, um, it's a mixed bag. It's, it goes much beyond this um, dual aspect that we often attribute to it. It, it involves politics. It's often referred to as a working class issue. And it's, it's deeply ingrained in your sense of identity, be it national or um, where you relate to. Um, so in, in these ways, yes, um, ICS, the gateway class, has definitely um, influenced me in the decisions that I've made it to. And finally, tell us uh, what you'll be doing this upcoming year and what are your future plans after Duke? Um, this year, for the spring semester, I'll be studying at Oxford University, um, where I'll be um, enrolled in two departments. That's uh, the Politics and International Relations Department and in the Philosophy Department. And um, the class that I'm most excited about is Politics in South Asia, where we'll be looking at politics from the um, viewpoint of culture, of religion, of um, economics and um, of development and um, by doing this we'll also be looking at social organizations ranging from um, non-governmental organizations to political parties and um, following that for my uh, summer I'll be uh, completing the second stage of the um, heart leadership program um, on uh, service oriented leadership and for that I'll be working with an NGO um, with whom I'll be developing uh, community-based research and I'm hoping that I'll be able to work uh, with an NGO in India and one of the topics that I'm really interested in is child labor. Um, and as for um, my uh, plans after Duke, I'm still exploring them, um, but some of these options include uh, going to law school and then pursuing human rights in a legal uh, manner. Um, or applying a graduate school to study political science. And uh, the third option that I'm considering is um, working with uh, a transnational or an intergovernmental organization. Thank you for your time, Arpita.